In my allotment in a box, I got three tomatoes. They're all cordon varieties, which means they grow up rather than out. And I got Moneymaker, clues in the name, it's a really good doer and really prolific. And then Sun Gold, which is an orangey colour and really tasty. And then Goldwyn, which is famous for being very pest resistant, which is good. Tomatoes are very tender, so can't go outside until all risk of frost has passed. Late May, early June, if you can wait that long. They also grow really brilliantly in unheated greenhouses or even inside, though you need to make sure that there's lots of open windows for pollinators to come and go. Now whilst you're waiting for the weather to be warm enough to plant your tomatoes into their final growing position, you need to put them pot pl pit pl <coughs> That's good. Whilst you're waiting for the weather to be warm enough to plant your tomatoes into their final growing position, you need to pot them on because they won't have enough food or energy if you like if you leave them in these little pots but you can't plant them straight into a really big pot like this even if this is going to be your final growing position they need a kind of halfway house something about this big and that means that the roots have a chance to find their way to the edge of the pot and start growing around and that gives the plant a really good root ball and a much healthier start in life. There's a bit of a knack to potting on tomatoes and the main thing is not to touch this stem because you can damage it without realising you've done it. So gently does it. Tip it upside down and release it and then, holding it by the root ball, plant it really deep into your next pot, kind of up to here. If you plant it nice and deep, roots will sprout from the stem that's under the soil, and that will give you a really solid, sturdy plant that will withstand an English summer.